Take a look at this map right here. Another study from Harvard University is also painting Florida pretty red, as you can see. Tonight, their doctors say coronavirus is spreading uncontrollably. Our local infectious disease expert tells 10 Tampa Bay's Angelina Salcedo, the study right here is accurate and some things may need to close down soon. Three colors now show the strain of the coronavirus pandemic in the U.S. We created a dashboard and created different thresholds based off of what we call mitigation or suppression. Dr. Tom Sai is one of the many doctors crunching numbers to put this COVID-19 risk level dashboard together. He and Dr. Ashish Jha agree these red colored states need to take action now. Nothing of that has happened in the last week makes me think that um, you know, that we have made the kind of changes we need to really uh, bend this curve. Florida is marked red, meaning the state is seeing a high rate of new cases. Take a deeper dive into Tampa Bay. All but two of the counties are the same color. The study from the Harvard Global Health Institute shows the spread of COVID-19 is uncontrollable. We are at a tipping point. We may have crossed it uh, with a number of deaths and the hospital ICU units that are being threatened. Dr. Jay Wolfson at USF Public Health says while Harvard's study paints a grim picture, the data is important. There are no green spots in Florida and there won't be unless and until we begin to behave more like the folks up northeast who say this is real. I'm going to wear a mask. Doctors now say mandating masks in all counties with rising test percent positivity, closing down places with high contact and limiting gatherings to 10 people or less is key. If, if people continue to ignore that, then there may be a need for at least local lockdowns or closures.